The Immortal John Hancock here, and I got a fun, cool collectible to share with you that's coming and debuting at the Midwest Gaming Classic this upcoming week. I'm really excited to be attending it. I attended it last year, did a video on my channel, and had so much fun. Well, this year, it's going to be bigger and better as ever. This is one of the biggest retro video game shows in the United States, and they are going all out this year and offering a multitude of exclusives three exclusive video games and I'm sharing one of them. The other two are going to be on my friend's channel, Adam Corlix covering the Jaguar exclusive Switchblade 2 and John Riggs is covering the Super Nintendo exclusive Moto X. It's going to be at the show first. You can pre-order these now. The link is below and they're going to be, if there's extra copies available, you can get these at JJ Games and the Goat Store. And you know, these types of uh, show exclusives are fun as the one I'm sharing with you today has been out of print for over 10 years. That's right. 10 years is a long time. Originally, Legend of Wukong was released by Super Fighter Team. I am one of the original owners. I did purchase it back in the day. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you this new version with extra cool pins as well as a collectible coin, which I do not have on me. This is a really early release of this. They're going to be at the show, but I'm going to show the physical copy of the game. So sit back, relax. Here we go. It's nice to see this aftermarket Sega Genesis RPG get a second release. The first one in the US was from the Super Fighter team, but this was originally released in 1996, Legend of Wukong, or as it originally was known in China, Wukong Legend. And so this was a cool Sega Genesis role-playing game in China, and it's been translated to English and now is available again in North America with different packaging. So that's cool, they distinguish it from the original release. Uh, the manual is pretty close to the original release. Uh, a, a few differences with the you know, Midwest Gaming Classic and Pico Interactive on the back as they bought the rights to the game. And it's really nice that it's getting a second release on original hardware. As I know, I'm a big fan of Sega Genesis. And it's in the Sega Genesis is not necessarily known for having an abundant amount of RPGs, some great ones. And this is just a, a sweet release as, you know, this is hours of gameplay with a silly story that I'll share in a bit. But yeah, full color manual. And there's gonna be additional goodie, goodies, as I mentioned before. Uh, there's gonna be some really nice pins and a Midwest Gaming Classic token that was not available uh, to show here on this video, but it's gonna be at the expo and included with each release. And so there you go, there's the physical, and then I'm gonna jump and share some of the gameplay with you as you might have never seen this before. So here it is, Legend of Wukong, and uh, you know, it's got colorful graphics. And again, this was a release back in 1996 in China, and it's been translated, and here it is offered. And so, pretty silly story. And so uh, the premise of the story is that you get caught in a time machine and sent back to the Tang Dynasty. So uh, there is a battery save in this. So yes, going old school where you can save your progress and you know relive those classic days in which you did that. So here you are, here's the intro, here's a simple introduction to the story. And so you're pressing around on some buttons of your neighbor and zap, you get sent back in time to the Tang Dynasty. And so, yeah, and this is a pretty straightforward RPG where you can get party members, you get uh, experience, uh, you have to go visit towns. You know, it does uh, tra traverse a lot of familiar territory. If you played other RPGs, you're gonna feel right at home. I'm not gonna play a ton of this. I'm showing you some first look of some of the gameplay here, some of the graphics. And so very colorful, very nice, well done. Uh, you know, it's pretty fast to go through the dialogue. There's some settings that you can adjust as well. And so, yeah, pretty funny too. Some of the dialogue's pretty hilarious. And so, yeah, um, as I play this and share with this, there's uh, six different chapters, I do believe. So yeah, I think for show exclusives or, you know, games that haven't been offered in quite some time, this is a nice one. You know, Midwest Gaming Classic has done other exclusives. They are available on their website. 
There's three new ones this year, and I do believe some of the ones from a previous year are available still. So you may want to check that out as well. So back to this game, lots of different things, equipment that can be upgraded and found. There's even this, you can take a chance and guess odd or even, and you can uh, gain some income that way. So that's pretty interesting. I like when games have that in that, uh, as they're kind of fun to check out. So here's the battle sequence, if you're interested in seeing what it looks like. So yep, uh, and then different enemies, and you know, you have different equipment that you can upgrade and magic. And so yeah, you get party members as you progress in this game, and there's many areas to explore and find out and side quests. And so there's a lot to enjoy about this game. Uh, I think overall, it's a welcome addition to a Sega Genesis aftermarket library is what I consider it from North America. And so yeah, I was, uh, you know, pretty excited when I found out about this because this is kind of a forgotten gem that was released a long time ago, 15 years originally. So that's a, that's a long time. And so it's nice to have this being offered again and offered to a new audience that may have never known about it. So is this new to you? Did you play this back in the day? Do you have the original release or is something, is this something that you are going to collect in the comments below? Let me know. You can go over to the Midwest Gaming Classic site where you can pre-order this now if you're going to the show. If not, no big deal. If there's extra copies, there's about three, there's 300 copies of this being made, 200 copies of the Atari Jaguar game Switchblade 2, which Adam Korlick's going to cover on his channel eventually, as well as Moto X, which is a Super Nintendo unreleased game. And John Riggs is covering that on his channel, and you can check out that. The link is below to John Riggs and Adam Korlick's channels, where they'll be talking about that exclusive. But I thought this was cool that this expo is doing this. I am so excited to be sharing this game with you. So what did you think? Also want to let you know, if you're not going to the show and you don't want to pick this up on the Sega Genesis uh, physical cartridge, Legend of Wukong is going to be coming to Evercade and it's going to be part of the Pico Collection 3. And so that might be another way where people may want to check this out. As it's not been available for a long time. And it's a good RPG. And I'm glad it's being offered as a collectible. Uh, and, you know, and I hope to see you soon. Also, if you're going to the Midwest Gaming Classic, you may want to come by and say hi. I'm going to be in the vendor hall. And I'm going to be offering my home brews in person as well. And so you may just come by and say hi. My channel, if you like what you see, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading content every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. Let's keep it positive. This is the Immortal John Hancock, and you take care.